a very good morning to one and all in this session we will be discussing about the characteristics of a uh, hexagonal close packed crystal structure <coughs> so while discussing the crystal structures we have defined the crystal structure is equal to lattice plus basis so we discussed about simple cubic crystal structure body centered cubic structure face centered cubic structure so in all these crystal structures these are crystal structures having one atom per lattice point i mean the lattice point associated with only one atom so there are crystal structures having more than one atom per lattice point the hcp structure belongs to this category that is more than one atom per lattice point so what is shown in this image is a hexagonal close packed uh, crystal structure this hcp crystal structure which is derived from a hexagonal lattice type together with basis of two atoms per lattice point that is why i told you the hcp belongs to the category so i can tell hcp is a crystal structure uh, which is derived from the hexagonal lattice type together with a basis of two atoms per lattice point so if you look at this schematic diagram shown the schematic diagram shows the hcp crystal structure with the atoms in positions if you look at the solid lines in this image the solid lines in this image indicate a hexagonal unit cell so three such hexagonal unit cell together constitute an hcp crystal so the hcp unit cell is the entire thing and hexagonal unit cell is the small thing okay so the solid lines in this image indicate a hexagonal unit cell and you may please note that three similar unit cell constitute an hcp crystal now i can show you in the next slide what is shown in this image is a um, simple hexagonal unit cell is shown here and if you look at this image you can see that it is having lattice points at each of its corners i told you the hcp crystal structure which is derived from the hexagonal lattice type together with basis of two atoms per lattice point now in order to accommodate two atoms per lattice point a second atom is attached to every atom isn't it i told you basis in hcp crystal structure means two atoms associated with the lattice point how can we accommodate it so i told you before a second atom is attached to every atom because we we can say that say two atoms located at lattice points how can we show it here in an image for that you can see in the next image the orientation of the second atom is in such a way that one such atom is completely inside the unit cell we have a hexagonal unit cell that is this small one and three such hexagonal unit cells constitute a hexagonal close packed unit cell so in order to accommodate the second atom in the lattice point you can see that the second atom is uh, i mean to, in order to accommodate the second atom you can see that a second atom com, uh, is accommodated in such a way that second atom is completely inside the unit cell as shown in this figure i hope you know basis uh, crystal, uh, crystal structure means lattice plus basis where basis represents group of one or more atoms associated with the lattice point so here in order to accommodate two atoms per lattice point here two atoms are associated with the lattice point in hcp crystal structure the previous crystal structures we learned simple cubic or bcc or fcc there will be only one atom associated with the lattice point however in hcp crystal structure there will be two atoms per lattice point 
So to accommodate two atoms per lattice point, a second atom is attached to every atom located at the lattice point. And the orientation of the second atom is such a way that one such second atom is completely inside the unit cell. Now, uh, I, um, I hope you understand how NHCP crystal structure looks like. So here if you look at this we can say that the neighboring the neighboring or the uh, I mean the corresponding second atoms so he, so like so in this hexagonal unit cell there will be a um, atom completely inside the unit cell similarly for the other two this um, I mean the second atom will be completely inside the unit cell that together constitute the hexagonal close packed crystal structure that is when three hexagonal unit cells are placed together the shape of a regular hexagon is obtained which is called hexagonal close packed unit cell okay i hope you understand so in a hexagonal unit cell you can see the corner atoms in addition to this you can see each hexagonal unit cell will have one atom completely inside them why? Because in order to accommodate the second atom. Okay. Okay. So that is what I told you. When three hexagonal unit cells. Uh, so this is uh, one unit cell. For a hexagonal close packed crystal structure. So when three such hexagonal unit cells are placed together. The shape of the regular hexagon is obtained. Which is called a hexagonal close packed um, unit cell. So I hope you understand now. Now, now let us see how these atoms are placed in an actual hexagonal structure. These three atoms are located at the middle layer between the end phases of the hexagonal structure. What are the end phases? This is one uh, end phase. This is operate end phase. If you so this top phase and the bottom phase, that is what the um, two end phases. So the second atom is placed in uh, I mean located at the middle layer so that is what is you can see three atoms you can see so these three atoms um, I told you in the last slide it is located completely inside the hexagon each hexagonal unit cell so these three atoms are located at the middle layer between the end phases of the hexagonal structure please note down that there are 12 atoms located at the 12 corners if you can um, count you can see 1 2 3 4 5 6 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 atoms located at the 12 corners. Isn't it? So here also you can see that. If you count it, you can see at corner, you can see 12 atoms. And the other two at the center of the hexagonal faces. One atom here and one atom at the center. You can mark the atoms which is marked as S. Now this information you keep in mind. The corner atoms are sh shared by six similar hexagonal unit cells or crystals. And the atoms at the end phases are shared by two crystals. So this point you must remember. This is very much required. The corner atoms are shared by six similar crystals. And the atoms at the end phases are shared by two crystals. Okay. So this point you should remember. Then only we will be able to do the uh, further derivations. So how to calculate the total number of atoms per unit cell for an hexagonal close packed structure? So here uh, n is equal to, we have 12 corner atoms. How many co uh, 12 corner atoms? I told you these 12 corner atoms are associated with 12 corner atoms are associated with 6 similar crystals. So 12 into 1 by 6. So the previous formula which we applied for a simple BCC and FCC won't work here. There each corner atom shared with 8 uh, unit cells. So here only 6 unit cells. So 12 into 1, 1 by 6. 12 corner atoms. Each corner atom is uh, shared by 6 similar unit cells. So 12 into 1 by 6 plus we have two phase centered atoms. I told you it is uh, shared by two crystals. So 2 into 1 by 2. 
two phase centered atoms shared by two similar crystals. So, 2 into 1 by 2. Plus 3 midplane atoms. We have 3 atoms completely inside the unit cell. Okay. So, 3. 3 into 1. So, 12 into 1 by 6 plus 2 into 1 by 2 plus 3 into 1, you will get 6. That is an effective number of... If someone asks you how many atoms occupy in a simple cubic crystal... Uh, hex, so, not hexagonal uh, close back the unit cell. That is 6 atoms. Effective number of atoms. I, we can accommodate 6 atoms. That is the num, um, total number of atoms which can occupy in a hexagonal HCP unit cell. Now, coordination number. How to get this coordination number? The coordination number for HCP crystal is 12. So, if you look at this pair at the center of the hexagonal plane, which is marked as S, th that touches other 6 pairs in the same plane. Count it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay. And 3 spears in the plane below. So, these 3 three. Um, three atoms or three spheres, one, two, three. Similarly, there will be three spheres in the plane above. So, if you look at the point S, it touches six atoms in the same plane, three atoms plane below, three atoms plane above. So, total number six plus three plus three, twelve. Okay. So, all together, six plus three plus three, twelve spheres as the immediate neighbors for every atom. That is the coordination number for HCP crystal is 12. I hope you get Okay. Now let us move on to the atomic packing factor. What is atomic packing factor? Volume of atoms in a unit cell divided by volume of the unit cell. Or we can brief um, expand it. Volume of one atom into number of atoms in the unit cell or effective number of atoms all divided by volume of the unit cell. What is the volume of one atom? 4 by 3 pi r cube. What is the number of atoms in a unit cell? We just der derived. Effective number of atoms, 6. So, 4 by 3 pi r cube into 6. What about the volume of the unit cell? Volume of the unit cell, here uh, we have a different, uh, maybe I can show you in the previous slide. Sorry, okay. So, here you, you need to uh, find out the cross-sectional area into height, isn't it? The cross-sectional area of the hexagon into height, you can get uh, the volume of the unit cell. How to find out this cross-sectional area into height? Now, volume of the unit cell, I told you, cross-sectional area into height. Okay, the cross-sectional area into height. Now, we need to find out the cross-sectional area. How to find out the cross-sectional area here? Cross-sectional area. We need to find out the cross-sectional area uh, into height. Then only we will get the volume of the unit cell. So cross-sectional area means area of the hexagon is equal to... So you look at the right side image. I uh, have shown a top top image, top image, top view. Here you can see there is a triangle you can see. And if I find out the area of this triangle and multiply with the 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, yeah, 6. If I multiply with 6, I will get the cross-sectional area of the hexagon. Okay, area of the triangle into 6, you will get the cross-sectional area. Then we can multiply with. Okay, so please see. So, how, we know what is the area of the triangle? Half into B into base into height. So, B here, uh, what is the base? It's nothing but the center to center distance between two atoms. Right. Into height, this is the height. In order to find out the cross-sectional area. So, half BH. Okay. So, half into base into altitude into 6. Area of the triangle into 6. Okay. I hope you, why this 6 means? 6 triangles. Okay. So, half into base into altitude into 6. Half into A into H into 6. So, this is nothing but A. We are considering the side is considering as A. You look at this. Here, A is equal to B. A and B are same thing. So, all these lengths are same A. So, half into A into H into 6. So, I get 3 H. Now, what I will need to do? I got the area. I need to multiply with the height. Then only I will get the volume. For that, uh, we are going to find out a value of H. 
So because uh, 3 A and H are how different parameters, I need to uh, find some relation between A and H so that we can represent, uh, we can reduce the expression very easily. Now look at, look at the right angle to triangle PQR here. PQR. Okay. We know that PR square is equal to PQ square plus QR square. What is PQ? Half of the A by 2. A by 2 or R. Radius of the atom. Okay. What is QR? It's nothing but H. So we can find out PR, right? So PR square is equal to QR square plus PQ square. So H square plus A by 2 the whole square. So H square is equal to A square minus A square by 4. Okay. So you can rearrange the terms. You get 3A square by 4. H is equal to A root 3 by 2. I hope you got it. Now you got it. A root 3 by 2. So what would be the area of the hexagonal face? 3A into H. 3A into A root 3 by 2. So I got 3A square root 3 by 2. Now this relation you must keep in mind. There is a relation between the lattice parameters A and C of an HCP unit cell. I am not going to tell how you obtained. You just remember these uh, expressions. C is equal to 1.633A. You, this expression is very important. If you cannot remember C is equal to 1.633A, you cannot derive the packing efficiency of an HCP crystal structure. C is equal to 1.633A. Okay. And also we know that A is equal to 2R. If you look at this figure, you can clearly know that. This is the A, R of this ready, uh, atom, R of this atom. A is equal to 2R. Okay. So C is equal to 1.633A. And A is equal to 2R. This is the expression you need to remember. Now, what would be the volume of hexagonal unit cell? I so told you cross-sectional area into height. What is the cross-sectional area? Area of the hexagonal face. 3A square root 3 by 2 into what is the height? So here, look at this. This is the height C. Look at C. This is the height. I need to uh, find out the cross-sectional area into height. Okay, then only I will get the volume of unit cell. Cross-sectional area into height. So, um, 1.633A that is C ok so I will get 4.242 4.242 A cube now let us go to atomic packing factor 4 by 3 pi R cube area of one atom into effective number of atoms 6 divided by volume of the atom uh, sorry volume of the unit cell volume of the uh, atoms in the unit cell divided by volume of the unit cell so volume of the unit cell is 4.242 A cube so deduce this term, you can find, uh, calculate and you will finally get the value 0 0.74. So the atomic, uh, uh, the atoms can be packed 74 percentage. 74 percentage of the space inside the HCP unit cell can be packed with atoms and the 26 percentage is empty. So like an FCC crystal structure, uh, the packing efficiency of HCP crystal structure is good compared with the other commonly observed crystal structures such as BCC and simple cubic. I hope you understand. Uh, please go through uh, the de um, derivation and um, we can meet in the next class. So kindly have a look at this video. And please uh, note down, I will also along with, so we will be having a open book test on on Thursday, that is tomorrow, 24, sorry, 25, 25. So um, you also uh, learn these four derivations along with, um, so maybe I, I shall also ask you to, to derive one of this expression for your open book test. So that, you know, while um, for deriving the, um, expert atomic packing efficiency for crystal structures. Um, that will not be an open book test. You need to close your books, need to derive it. So learn the four derivations. Simple cubic structure, BCC, FCC and HCP. How to derive the packing efficiency. Okay, thank you.